his assistant. Joseph Dahl, and this is my presentation, Our Solar System, A Neighborhood in Space by Joseph Dahl. We are bound to a small sphere of rock, yet beyond our horizons, the solar system opens before us, with the entire world waiting to be discovered. The, pla uh, the planets chop, the planets challenge us. He draws us out, bearing a new generation of Columbuses and Magellans to venture into the unknown. An age of exploration unrivaled in human history is underway right now. Today, new telescopes, new space missions have given us unprecedented knowledge of the planets and a breakthrough understanding of the solar system that stretches out for 3.7 billion miles, a neighborhood in space. In the center of it all lies the sun, our star. A great globe of glowing hydrogen, burning at 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, far bigger than all the planets and moons and comets put together. Put together in tight orbit around the sun are four rocky planets, the inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Mercury is the innermost, lost in the clear of the sun. It is named by the Romans for their swift messenger of the gods. Yet ironically, it spins so slowly that a single day there lasts nearly two years, two habitual revolutions around the sun. Venus name for the goddess of love. It's so bright. It's called the evening star. It is our sister planet, but what lies beneath this dense blanket of clouds? All of them stay from the sun, Earth, with its gentle atmosphere and its oceans. It is a small world, but its significance is a mess, for it harbors life. Uh -huh. Beyond lies Mars, the red planet, and for the Roman god of war. It is the most like Earth, but once have life been forced to two. Far beyond these inner stony planets is the realm of the giants, the outer planets, fifth through eighth for the sun. These are bizarre, intriguing worlds. Worlds of wait, worlds of mystery. Strange as of all, it would be impossible to stand on them. But their surfaces are made not of rock, but gas. Nope. 
Jupiter is a huge bowl of hydrogen, more than 300 times the size of Earth. It's long been fascinated by its dazzling bands of color and its great rift spot, a star larger than our entire planet. Saturn is renowned for spectacular rings, each thousands of miles wide, but less than a mile thick. Beyond lie two blue worlds, Uranus around them on the planet tipped over on its side. And Neptune, where the winds blow at more than a thousand miles per hour. Finally, over three billion miles from the sun, lies the distant sentinel Pluto, named from the god of the underworld. A tiny outpost of rock and ice, it patrols the far edge of our solar system. These are the nine planets. In each passing year, we uncover more about them. Yet the more we learn, the stranger they seem. Where did they come from? What could have created them? How did such an unusual collection of worlds begin? the end.